Good morning and welcome to our thought for the day once again. I'd just like to read you a, a portion of a verse from Isaiah chapter 48 and verse 10. It says this, I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. It's not wonderful. They have marvelous words. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. The title I've given this morning is this, Comfort Even in Trial. Comfort even in the time of trial. Isn't it great news this morning, friends, to be chosen? That's something that we should consider each day and remind ourselves of as much as we can. But not only chosen, but we have been chosen by God himself. He chose you with all your faults and all your failings and all the rest of it. He chose you and he chose me. And it's wonderful to know, friends, that God doesn't make mistakes. He chose you because he knew that he could take you and mould you and make you to be what you should be in Christ. But our text tells us that we're not only chosen, but chosen in the furnace of our affliction. When everything seems to be going wrong, it doesn't mean that we are not chosen. It still means that we are chosen by God. And it is in this fact that I want you to comfort yourself today. But it is to you who find yourself right in the centre of the storm, for you to know that you are in the centre of his care. And in the centre of the storm, you can still be in the centre of his will. Let the affliction come, for you will prove the protective power of the precious blood of Jesus. Poverty may be at your door. Sickness may be at your door. But Christ, in his, in his divine power, is already in the house. And he has chosen you. When tears come, he it is that is able to wipe away all your tears. Again, I say, he has chosen you for himself. The world is a saying. You can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. But you know, friends, that's exactly what Jesus did. He chose his family. He chose you and me to be his sons and his daughters. He has chosen you to be part of his eternal royal family. with the children of the most high God. You've been chosen. And if you still require yet greater comfort, then remember that you have Christ with you in the furnace of your affliction. For he never leaves you and he never forsakes you. This morning, remember, when you sit back and say, I don't have much of this world, yet you are able to say, I have the fullness of heaven in my heart and in my home. You may not see him physically, but by faith you see him. You hear his precious voice speak to you in your situation, in your darkest valley. He says, fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. And his presence is both your comfort and your safety. Never forget that when all else fails, he never fails. When the brook dries up, when the manna can't be found, when you only have a little flour and oil left, in the house, when you find yourself in the furnace of affliction, just remind yourself that it's a trial and a test that God has allowed. And he's allowed it so that you will know great triumph in time of trial. For at the end of the day, friends, it's not the provision of the things that you need, but the provider, he himself, that we should desire. And he will be your comfort in the midst of every trial. Till he brings you through victoriously. Comfort even in times of trial. Comfort yourself with those words, I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. And he is with you and he will never fail you. God bless you. Look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.